Jesus said to them, Children, do you have any fish? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it, and now they were not able to haul it in because of the quantity of fish. And when they got out on land, they saw a charcoal fire in place with fish laid out on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. When I read those verses, it reminds me of how we are when we first get saved. The way Jesus already had everything set up for them after they uh, were finished fishing, that's the way it is with us when we first receive Christ. The same way Jesus set a fire for them is the same way he does for us. And when we first receive Christ, we are we stay close to the fire at all times. We're in our word every day. We're looking to learn something new. Uh, we're spending time with God. Uh, we're walking with him the best way we know how. That's how I was when I first got saved. But over time, I began to drift away. I drifted away because it became boring for me. I didn't like to just sit down and read. Um, it wasn't holding my attention because I didn't really understand much. And I was drawn away because I was bored and I didn't really understand the word. But that's just one of many ways that we can be drawn away. We can be drawn away by fear, unwillingness, worry, doubt, all kinds of things. And when we're drawn away from the fire, we can be drawn to other fires because we think that this fire can give us something that the fire of Christ can. And Peter is a perfect example of someone who was drawn to the wrong fire. And they seized him and led him away, bringing him to the high priest's house. And Peter was following at a distance. And when they had kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard, they sat down together, and Peter sat down among them. Now Peter was at the wrong fire with the wrong people, and that's how we can be sometimes. When we're at the wrong fire, it may not always be the wrong people around us. It may be the wrong things, you know, like drugs or alcohol, depression, anger, bitterness, all kinds of things. So we got to be careful of that, you know. If you're around the wrong fire, Eventually, you're going to get burned. And immediately, while he was still speaking, the rooster crowed. And the Lord turned and looked at Peter. And Peter remembered the saying of the Lord, how he had said to him, Before the rooster crows today, you will deny me three times. And he went out and he wept bitterly. If you're around the wrong fire, you're going to get burned. But the thing about Christ, his fire won't burn us. Even though sometimes he may have to put us through the fire. In Malachi 3, verse 2, it says, well, who can endure the day of his coming? Who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire and fuller's soap. A refiner is someone who uses fire to extract silver from lead. And a fuller is someone whose job was to clean and whiten cloth. And that's what God is. He'll use the fire to cleanse us of everything that we don't need. And not only will God put us through the fire, but so will our enemies. 